Hi everyone, it's Linda and I thought I'd pop by today with a card project for you. And my card project involves using napkins to cre create pretty backgrounds for your card projects. Okay, so I'm going to talk you through the process of how I made mine. Um, and it's nice and quick and simple and it's not at all messy. So um, I hope that you enjoy this and maybe that it might inspire you to consider looking at napkins to use as some um, backgrounds for your cards. Okay, so I'll pop this to one side and I'm going to talk you through the process of how um, to put this layer down and how I've decorated my card. Also, I'll be showing you how I've created these um, little embellishments. They're wooden embellishments um, and I've used some Nouveau products to decorate them. Okay, so I do hope you find it interesting. Thanks for joining me. Okay, so I went off and I bought myself some pretty napkins and so all you need to do is take one of your napkins and cut it down so this is I think roughly six by six I'm going to be making a six by six by four card okay but you just need to cut it down and then you just need to divide it here um, peeling away the bottom layer just leaving the top one you may find there are a few layers okay so just be nice and gentle so we're just left with that what I've done is I've got my base layer here that I'm going to be using to decorate to put on my card with the um, napkin um, you're also going to need some double-sided adhesive tape sheets and these are A4 which I got from um, Holcraft Stash so I'll be putting links to this on my blog and below the video Okay, so all I've done is this is cut at the moment I'll be cutting it down further but it's cut at six by four and a quarter inches so I've taken a piece of that um, tape sheet that I've just shown you and all I'm going to do is peel this away discarding that bit okay and then you just need oh, to put this down on oh, and you be careful as well <laughs> oh it does stick easily just try and line it up as best you can and get that stuck down like that just see if I can pan out a bit more okay. and then we're just going to remove this backing So you can discard with that and then very carefully now you're going to take your piece of napkin and position it across the top here just try and go from the bottom and then just lay it down gently like that okay and then I'm just going to take a bone folder if I can and just try to just push out any creases just try to work them through okay. so get it as neat as you can I'm quite happy with that there's a very very slight crease there but I'm going to be embellishing it further anyway okay so now I've done that I'm just going to trim away the excess around the sides Okay, so grab my card base. So this is a six by four and a quarter card base. So it was cut at eight and a half by six and scored at four and a quarter on the long side. This black layer is four and one eighth by five and seven eighths. And then I'm going to be cutting this one down to four inches. by five and three quarters and that will sit on there like that when we've when we've completed our layer okay 
So I'm just going to show you now how I'm decorating it and there's a few little things that I thought um, I'd show you that I've been um, experimenting with. Now what I've done is I've made myself a frame to just go on the front here and I'm going to be putting a uh, sentiment within that frame. Okay, now I did have some wooden frames but I've run out so I resorted to using my chipboard um, pieces. So I cracked open this new pack and all I've done was I took the frame that surrounded this piece here, which is this, okay, and I just covered it with Versamark, clear Versamark, and then gold heat embossed it with gold um, embossing powder. And I think I did about three layers at least, okay, and that gives you a really nice thick, kind of like a moulded look, if you can see that. Okay, so that's my little frame and I'm going to be using that on the front here. I'm using these um, sentiments which are really, really useful. So they're the Everyday Sentiments 2 by Spellbinders and they're designed for the Glimmer um, hot foil system. And I'm also using, I've got a tiny little piece here, I'm using this black foil, Glimmer foil. Okay, I just love it because it's really, really, I think it looks really smart and crisp on white cardstock. So I'm using black. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my sentiment. Now what you want is the nice side, the black side, facing the plate. Okay, so I'm going to pop my little plate down on there like this. And then I'm just going to take a piece of washi tape and just hold it in place like that. Okay, and here I have got my hot foil system, my glimmer hot foil system. Okay, so I'm just waiting now for it to heat up. Once this goes green, I can set the timer and then I'll talk you through that process. Okay, so this has now gone green, and so I'm just going to set this going. And that's going to flash on and off. And when the when this is ready to run through my um, Spellbinders Platinum, um, it'll stop flashing. So I'm just going to put this down face down with the card stock at the top. And then we've got here the two plates that we need to place over the top when this is ready. Okay, so that's now stopped flashing. So you can just disengage it from here. Whoops. So I'm going to take these plates and put these over the top like that. Pop that to one side. Okay, so I bring in my platinum now. And what all we're going to do is feed this through here slowly. So just give it a little push. And then I'm going to bring it back towards me. Just peel away the washi. And we've got a beautifully foiled sending love sentiment. Now all I'm going to use to um, die cut that is an oval, just to match the oval that's in my frame. And it just so happens that this is actually quite a good fit for my frame. And, um, and I will put a link to these on my blog if you're interested. Okay, so all I'm going to do now is just send this through the die cutting machine. Okay, so there's my sentiment and I'm just going to get this stuck down round about there on my layer. Okay, so it's got stitching round and the, the stitching just about fits within my um, frame. I'm, I'm not too bothered, it's not like you know, it's well hidden or anything like that. I mean, obviously, if you've got plain ovals, use plain ovals, okay? But these stitch ones I can get away with. You've just got like a slight outline all the way around and I'm quite happy with that. I don't mind that at all. So let me just pop this down. So let me 
just work out where I definitely want this. I'm thinking that's quite a nice height actually, round about there. So I'm going to go with that and try to get it nice and straight now. Okay, so we've got that down and I just need to stick this. So for this I'm just going to use some glue. And whilst that's setting, I'm just going to show you some little embellishments that I've been making. And I'll talk you through how I've made them. So I've got here some wooden embellishments. And I just thought it would be nice to make them up in different colours and I discovered that if you use these Nouveau crystal drops, I've got a few colours here, um, if you cover them in the, in the crystal drops and then you have to leave them, set them aside and, and they take at least a couple of hours to go off if not more. So you've got to be patient if you want to do this. But what I do is I've made up like a, a little batch of them. But you, all you do is select your colours and just cover your wooden, wooden embellishment. Okay, and you just spread it out like this. And it just gives a really nice, thick, glossy, shiny finish. It kind of looks a bit kind of like mother of pearl when it's finished. Um, I just think they look really, really lovely. Um, they're really nice, these, for scrapbooking and things like that as well. And decorating. If you, if you do things like make your own albums, they look lovely on those as well. It just like adds a lot of dimension to your projects but you can pick your own colours and, and whatever. So I've got that one. So this colour was, let's have a look, Neptune Turquoise, and it's really beautiful. It's kind of like a cross between a blue and um, a green, really. Now this one I love, this is Ivory Seashell. And it goes on quite thick, so you can see I've got this old heart here. This is from my old stamping up days, I think I got these. Um, and. It, you can just cover the design, uh, it won't show, it doesn't show through. Um, just spread it about as you're going. Okay, and like I say, you have to be patient, set them aside um, and leave them to dry. And when you first do it, don't 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 sort of go in after an hour and do what I did and sort of press and prod it because you'll pull away some of the, um, the stuff before it's actually set. But if you just allow it the time to set, then you do end up with a really nice finish. So also what I've um, discovered I can do is whilst it's wet like this, it's best if you do let it um, set a little before you do this process. But I've got here some tweezers and I've got like a little pearl embellishment. Um, and I just want to pop that onto my heart and I just pop that into the centre there just press it down and leave that to set okay so I'll just pop that to one side okay so in good old Blue Peter style here's some I made earlier so there we go that, that was like the champagne coloured um, Nouveau crystal drops that I showed you. I've made that. Um, this is how the green leaves come out. They've got a really really pretty finish on them. Okay, lots of texture. And I also went ahead and I made a, oops, a little butterfly. And I love this. There we go. So that's in like pink. And I've put little coordinating pink pearls in there. Okay. And I just thought they'd be fun to decorate my card. So I've got some flowers and bits and pieces here which I'm also going to be using. 
I'm not sure whether I'm going to use that one yet, but I do love it. That'd be nice on a wedding card. So just bring that back. Okay, so I'm going to set some flowers down and I'm just going to work out a placement for my flowers. I'm not sure I'll use them all. I'm going to set that one in the middle there. Okay, and I think I'll put this one around about there and I'll pop that on the top of it. So I'm quite happy, I quite like that arrangement. So I'll just get those stuck down. Okay, so I've got my glue gun here, so I'll start by putting the roses on first, I think. Actually, I forgot my butterfly. So let's get a little butterfly on there as well. Pop that there. Okay, made a bit of a mess. Get rid of that. And then I'm just going to finish off with, I think, a nice ribbon around the front of it. So I've got here some old seam binding ribbon. Just see if I can get this knot tied successfully, or this bow. I have a feeling this is going to take a couple of attempts. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so that's looking really pretty. So I'll just bring back my card base now and I'm just going to get that stuck into place. And that's it, that's my finished card. Okay, so I just think it's a really nice way of using napkins. I kind of missed the boat the first time around because I just wasn't kind of drawn to the whole process and it, lots of the demonstrations I saw made it look a little bit messy. But um, in using those double-sided um, 
sheets that I've shown you. It's really nice and simple and clean um, to get the napkin sheet down onto, onto your um, layer and work with it and it does create, if you've got some really pretty napkins, it creates a really really pretty background and it's just a nice way to decorate and make cards to gift to your friends and your family. Okay, so that's it from me. I do hope you enjoyed the demonstration. I hope you liked my idea as well of creating your own, um, or decorating your own wooden embellishments. These came out really, really nice and really, really f nice and firm. When they're done, they're sort of super shiny and hard. Okay, so you do get a really nice finish with these. Um, and like I say, it kind of reminds me, it's, it's got like a, a look of um, Mother of Pearl. You know, really, really pretty anyway, but I'm ever so pleased with those. I decided not to use the heart, but like I said, I'll probably use that on um, a project for, well, I think it'd be nice on wedding cards and things like that, so I'm going to save it for a rainy day. So that's it from me. Thank you for watching. Hope you liked the demonstration. I'll put a link for things that I've used on my blog and also below the description of this video. So that's it. I'll be back again shortly. Bye for now.